A federal judge has granted KFOR a temporary restraining order against State Superintendent Ryan Walters and his press secretary, Dan Isaac. It's a legal victory and a first step because the order allows KFOR to attend tomorrow's State Board of Education meeting and press conference. News 4 was denied access on several occasions to these meetings and press conferences until this week when KFOR, along with the Institute for Free Speech, filed a lawsuit seeking a temporary restraining order and preliminary injunction. News 4's Adria Goins was in a federal courtroom for today's hearing. Adria. Oh, the order bars Superintendent Walters and Dan Isett from keeping KFOR out of those board meetings and press briefings for the next 14 days. A federal judge made the decision finding the state's justification to be a ruse after hearing from both sides in court today. Department of Education Press Secretary Dan Isett appeared in court Wednesday sitting in the gallery. He's named in the lawsuit along with Superintendent Ryan Walters, who was not in the courtroom. Federal Judge Bernard Jones listening to arguments from attorneys on both sides during the hour-long hearing. Lawyers from the Institute for Free Speech representing K4, arguing a clear case of discrimination and a First Amendment violation. Defendants were very clear that the reason that they are de denying K4 entry into these press conferences and these board meetings is because they don't like what they're reporting. On multiple occasions, News 4 has not been allowed at State Board of Education board meetings and press conferences. The state told the court K4 has been denied access because they, quote, do not report the truth. The judge responding by saying, quote, as a public official, you're not always going to like everything the media is saying, but that comes with the territory. It comes with the job. The state also argued the press room was at capacity and there were security issues. So many opportunities before and after the lawsuit was filed to say, well, here are the legitimate reasons why we're doing this. And instead, like I said in court, they've doubled down. Cameras are not allowed in federal courtrooms, but we did ask Isit if he had a reaction to the hearing as he was leaving, and he said, quote, no. We spoke with Oklahoma Attorney General Gintner Drummond about the case. Keeping K-4 the oldest and one of the most reputable news agencies out of press conferences seems to be the opposite of good government, the opposite of transparency and accountability. And for that, I give him low marks. And for K4's litigation, I give you high marks. That's what journalists must do to hold elected officials and appointed officials accountable. Again, the judge's ruling in our favor today, our crews will now be allowed inside tomorrow's Board of Education meeting. This is just step one in K4's lawsuit. The judge indicated he will issue an order for the injunction at a later date. Now, we did reach out to the Department of Education for their response on the ruling. And Dan Isaac saying in this statement, quote, a judge can give KFOR privileges, but that doesn't keep the organization from being fake news. Obviously a statement we do not agree with, considering our 75-year broadcasting history as Oklahoma City's legacy television station and our commitment to bringing you fair, unbiased news.